Good morning, everyone. Like Dr. Carter, I have been doing medical and public health work for decades. I am also a middle-aged black man who has grown up in this country. I was born and raised in inner city Cleveland. And as an aside, of course, that means I'm a, uh, a long-suffering Browns fan. But seriously, um, believe me when I tell you, I understand the questions, concerns, and misgivings many of you have regarding receiving the COVID vaccine. Let, let me share something with you. In this picture, you see me uh, in the middle, in the uh, fashionable knee pants. Uh, to, uh, to my left is my father, uh, George Andrew Askew, Jr. To my right is my grandfather, George Andrew Askew, Sr. And uh, in the middle, behind me, and flanked by his son and grandson, uh, is the Reverend Noah Askew. The Reverend Noah Askew is the son of a former North Carolina slave, also named Noah Askew. The voices, the voices of these men from slavery to today ring in my ears. Sorry. Their stories of, and my witness too, their struggle, oppression, denied access, and marginaliz uh, marginalization, and my own, are part of who I am and what I believe. And I can tell you, <laughs> not once in my lifetime that any of these men say to me, hey, trust in your government. <clears throat> trust in your government. It will always do what's in your best interest. Nor did they ever say, never question what the man is asking you to take, eat, or inject. I know many of you have similar histories and experiences, both native to this country and county, and those of you who are relatively newly arrived. What I will assure you, what I will assure you as a public health and government official here in Prince George's County is that we will always work our hardest to promote, enhance, and preserve the health and well-being of all Prince Georgians. I know what you could be thinking when I say that. So please, Understand this, when we roll out our vaccine delivery here, we will do so with the confidence that it is in the best interest of the health and well-being of the county. And we wouldn't do it unless we truly believe that to be so. Therefore, I am urging you, when the vaccine becomes available to you, join us in taking the vaccine and being proud to be protected. Thank you. Thank you.